Hi, welcome back to Mrs. O'Gram's Maths. Today we are looking at algebraic juggling. Um, this is when we've got a fraction that we can't deal with in terms of the rational functions we've seen before when we're trying to integrate. So if you look at this example here that we've got, the top is not um, a derivative of the bottom. It's not any multiple of that either. So we can't look at the, the natural log things that we were looking at in previous videos. We have to do something to try to um, simplify this expression into something that we can actually integrate. Now, I call this algebraic juggling, and it's sometimes referred to that in books. Your teacher might call it something else, um, and that's totally fine. But it's taking this fraction and, and kind of breaking it up into separate pieces that we can integrate. So before we start doing any integration, so I'm going to leave that integral symbol in there, we first will take a look at the first terms in both the numerator and the denominator. So that top term is four times that bottom term. And that gives us the clue of where to start. So we want it to be four lots of the bottom term, because that would give us the atx that we started with. Now, if we look at that top term there, if we did four times two x plus one, that would give us 8x plus 4. Now that's almost the same as what we wanted over here, but it's not quite. So the 8x plus 4 is a little bit off. So to make this top line here be equal to what we had on here, we're going to need another 6. Because if we did 4 plus 6, then we would end up with 8x plus 10, the original amount that we had over here. So we can now see that this fraction that we have in green is the same as this fraction we have in blue. And once we've done that, we can separate these out into two separate fractions. So we can put this as um, the 6 and the other part of that top bit as two separate pieces, both over 2x plus 1. Similar to how we've seen in some of the other videos. And then once we've got this, then you can see we can cancel that 2x plus 1 on the top and the bottom there. So it's now just the integral of 4 plus 6 over 2x plus 1. And then with that, we can actually integrate these terms now. We know how to do these ones. So if you integrate 4, you get 4x. And then 6 over 2x plus 1, we have the top is a multiple of the derivative of the bottom. If we differentiate 2x plus 1, we get 2, and the top will be 3 times that much. So just as a side note, if you're not sure about how to do these without fully working it out, try out log of the bottom and see what it gets you. If we differentiated that, we would get the 2x plus 1 on the bottom, and then differentiate the top to get the 2 on the top there. So that one is 3 times smaller than we need it to be. So we need to times this by 3, which means that we also need to have that beginning bit must have been times by 3. So instead of starting with ln 2x plus 1, we need to start with 3 ln 2x plus 1. So back over here to the integral, we have this is now 3 ln 2x plus 1 plus c. Right, so we'll leave that as example 1, and we'll do another example down below. Okay, so here we have a fraction that we are trying to integrate. And we do the same as what we did in the last example, where we start off by trying to split this up into um, other bits. So begin by looking at what is your denominator and how do you adjust it to make that first term. So if we started with x plus 1 at the top here, to make our first term of x squared, we would need to multiply that by x. Now, if we multiply that out, x, plus, x times x plus 1 would equal x squared plus x. OK, so look back at this first part that we have on the numerator there. We almost have what we want when we just do x times x plus 1. We've got the x squared plus x part, but it's got an extra 1. So to adjust for that, we need an extra 1 in there. 
Now when we separate that out into the two fractions, we've got the x plus 1 over the x plus 1. Actually, we don't need the brackets on the bottom there. There we go. Plus 1 over x plus 1. So that x plus 1 cancels with that one. And we've got the integral of x plus 1 over x plus 1. So if we integrate x, we get x squared over 2. Just raise the power by 1 and divide by the new power. And if we integrate 1 over x plus 1, this is using um, natural logs, which means that we are going to do the natural log of the bottom and then divide by the coefficient of x there. So we're dividing by 1 in this case, so it doesn't change anything at the front of that expression. And we're done. All right, we'll do one more for luck. All right, so example number three, let's start splitting this up into other bits. So we've got the x minus 5 that we know will be on the bottom. Let's start with that for our first term. Now we need to turn that x term into 2x squared, so we need to multiply it by 2x. Now over on the side here, if I did 2x times x minus 5, that would equal 2x squared minus 10x. Okay, so that's that 10x doesn't quite match the 4x, and it also doesn't give me the plus 3. So I need to uh, take off, oh no, I don't need to add on, add on 6 more x's, because I've got to get from this minus 10x back up to this minus 4x, and I also need to add a 3. So then we get 2x, x minus 5 over x minus 5, plus 6x plus 3 over x minus 5. And we've got to do the whole thing again on, on this bit here. Okay, so I'm going to cancel out that x minus 5 on the first term, so we've just got the 2x. Plus, right, we want x minus 5 on the bottom. If I start with x minus 5 on the top, to turn that x into this 6x, we would times it by 6. Now, if I do 6x minus 5, I would get 6x minus 30. So that is clearly not the number that I need from here. I need a plus 3, so we need to add um, 33 to make that work. And we've got the dx. Now, strictly speaking, we should really have like brackets around the whole of the thing to say that we're still integrating. I'm not going to bother because I'm kind of containing it with the integral and the dx at the end. I'm just trying to keep things as simple as possible. Okay, now if we, I'm actually going to go ahead and integrate that 2x and sort that one out straight away. So if we integrate 2x, that becomes uh, it becomes 2x squared over 2, and of course the 2s cancel, so we're just left with x squared. And then we're left to integrate still on this other section. The 6 part of it, so this bit just here, would be separate out into the first fraction, and the x minus 5 would cancel with the x minus 5, so we just get left with a 6 plus 33 over x minus 5 dx. So we've got x squared plus, if we integrate 6, then we get 6x. If we integrate 33 over x minus 5, we get 33 ln x minus 5 plus c.